The National Anthem, William Gilbert, a monarch is bestowed with cares, while the dog they can often depend them, but one comes in a shape he can never escape, the implacable National Anthem. Of a quiet and rest he may yearn, it pursues him at every turn, a chance of forsaking, as rock or corn numbers, may haunt him on awaking the poisonous slumbers, like the Barnbury lady, whom everyone knows, is cursed with its music wherever he goes. Of its words but imperfectly rhyme, and the devil himself could scan them, with composer polite in due day and night, an illiterate national anthem. It serves a good purpose, her own, its strains are devout and impressive, its hard staying notes raise a lump in our throats as it burns with devout excessive. And a king who's been bored by that song from his cradle each day or day long was heard at loud shouted by throats of heretic and loudly spouted by my and sympathetic, by soldiers, by singular, by drum and by faith. It's more blame for things if the plague of slife, while the subjects sing loudly and long the king who would willingly ban them, sits void, disgusting, anathematizing the bogey, the national anthem.